This is an additional video for the Outlook at In deployment primarily and if we have time we will as well see how the Outlook at In works then once installed. As you have seen the Outlook at In uh, deployment uh, is uh, available uh, from the uh, roommanager.com download link and once it's installed on the client machine and you start your Outlook at In uh, with this uh, uh, Room Manager Outlook at In you will see that under meeting requests there will be this Outlook at In available so this is the proper way how you can use this Outlook at In to make then once installed the installation Let's talk a little bit about other, other features of this Outlook at In. Uh, for example, once installed on the client machine, in the Add In tab, you will see the Outlook Add In here uh, on, the, on the root. If you should have on the file any uh, special character, uh, specifically an ampersand sign, uh, please rename, just remove the ampersand sign. Uh, this might uh, issue licensing issue and uh, licensing error messages. Um, so just check that the, the file location and the path and the path name, uh, there is no ampersand sign. If so, remove the ampersand sign. And from here you can go, uh, click on this go, and then you see that the room manager add-in is installed. Uh, if you want to remove the add-in from the Outlook add-in from the Outlook client, you can just remove it here uh, and then close it, uh, leave ex exit Outlook, uh, start Outlook again here we go and then you see that under uh, options, uh, add-ins that the room manager Outlook add-in is gone it might be necessary that you reinstall the Outlook add-in, so just go to the uh, to your local drive and run the Outlook add-in from your local drive as described by double-clicking this VSTO file. Start Outlook again, leave it first, start it again, and check what happens. Let's see if it's installed. Under add-ins, you see that it's not available. So this means that you need to uninstall and install the Outlook add-in by going to add, remove programs. Let's see here. So you would just need to remove the Outlook add-in, uninstall it, install it again. by double-clicking the VSTO file. Start Outlook and you will be prompted with the uh, with the login prompt for the space. So this is the this is the, the room manager URL where your site is running up and running. So just copy this URL correctly. Check if there's HTTPS or HTTP. Enter the friendly domain name. Enter the username. In this case, unfortunately, this user is as well the administrator. But you just need to enter the username with the proper credentials. This user must have an access on this room manager site, otherwise it will not work. Say login, start Outlook, and you will see that under meeting requests, the Outlook add in is available and you can just make a test. This is a web service which retrieves the information. Just see if the connection is there. If there's no connection, the drop downs are not filled in. And so the user can make here from the Outlook add in, uh, from the meeting request with the Outlook add in directly the bookings on the room manager site. In another video, I will cover then how to use this Outlook add in. Uh, this is something that you have to take care. Just to recap, download the file, unblock the file if it's blocked. Um, copy it to a folder, run the VSTO file, uh, start Outlook, uh, enter the credentials and the site URL correctly, uh, and troubleshoot if any issues by uninstalling and installing back. Thank you very much.